By 2030, Nigeria would top the League of Most Extreme Poor People in the world, overtaking DR Congo, India and Madagascar, if deliberate steps are not taken to stabilize the economy. This was the submission of Belgian economist Professor Stalfan Dikron, while delivering his keynote address at the launch of the State of Enterprise Report 2022. Details in this report. Ten plus law firm. The maiden edition of the State of Enterprise Report 2022 brought together experts from the financial and professional services sector, FBS. The SAE report, a first of its kind, an annual industry publication, gives insight into Nigeria's FBS sector. The leader in his keynote address, a professor of economic policy at the University of Oxford, Stefan Deacon, stated that the financial and professional services industry is instrumental to driving any nation's economy. He noted that a Nigeria that thrives and is more stable with better economic policy will cause all businesses to flourish. When you look at any country in the world, badly run or well run, relatively speaking, you know, it can be a few thousand, can be a few hundred, can be a few dozen, group of people with power or influence that determine the direction of politics and the economics in a country. Stakeholders say that if there is prosperity and no poverty, there would be peace. For them, the FBS industry is instrumental in driving the prosperity and economic development of Nigeria. We will ensure that together, in our practice as professional firms, we give Nigeria the very best that it deserves. And we will also ensure that the private sector under this umbrella comes together as a partner with other sectors for growth and development of our, of our nation. There's clearly a need to change the narrative about Nigeria. And we can't leave it alone to the uh, public sector. The private sector also needs to take the initiative and given the very critical role that the financial and professional services sector plays in economic development, as we have seen in other parts of the world. This is why the Enterprise NGR was established. It's about realizing that there's a bigger goal for all of us and therefore engaging. And, you know, engagements have taken place historically in different forms. We think this kind of platform where there is hopefully a collective voice, a sort of unified voice, can also have maybe a bigger impact. Managing Director of a Merchant Bank, Banjo Adegbohungbe, emphasizes the need for strong partnership between the business community and those with political powers. And we see the financial and professional services as a catalyst for economic development and growth. And the focus here is to provide a platform that can ensure that the financial and professional services sector in Nigeria can rank with that anywhere in the world and can also provide that catalyst and provide that platform to generate development and growth across all sectors of the economy. Just like other participants, Banjo holds that if all chronicled in the report are adhered to, everyone stands to benefit from the ripple effects of economic development. It's a Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.